start thinking about arranging a track, there's a brand new feature in Logic 10 which is called the Arrange Markers and this is going to really speed up uh, how you move your sections around. So I've got this track here, uh, I've done a little bit of work on it, I've just got four sections. Let's just play through it now. This is a kind of intro. This is like a verse. Call this the chorus. And then we have a, I don't know, a kind of tag with a melody at the end. So how do we get the arrangement markers up? Well, we just click on this button here, which is the global tracks button. And this actually brings up a number of uh, tracks which uh, are to do with the global settings of your project. Uh, at the top we have this arrangement, which are the arrangement markers we're going to be looking at. Then we have markers here as well, and uh, these are a little bit different. These allow us to put markers at certain points in the track and make it easier to kind of move around when we're editing or recording or whatever. Um, here we can put the time signature of the track and here we can adjust the tempo. So we'll have a look at these at a later stage, but we're going to think about this arrangement track at the top here. So in order to start making some arrangement markers, it's very, very simple. All we have to do is just click on this plus button here and straight away it will uh, create an arrangement marker. And you can see that the lengths of my sections are all four bars. It's by default created an eight bar section, but we can easily change that. We just go to the right hand side, just like a region, and just drag it back to four bars. There we go. You can also see it's called it verse. Let's leave that for the moment and just create another one. This is called chorus and another one. And finally one at the end as well. So we've got four arrangement markers now. What we can then do is give them our own names. So all we have to do is just double click on that. I'm going to call this one intro, this one verse, this one chorus. And you can see I'm not clicking on the actual name here. I'm just clicking to the right or the left hand side uh, where there's a sort of gap or a space. And then finally, let's just call this uh, tag. There we go. So we have our four different sections. What we could do then is say if we wanted to, after this tag, bring in the verse again, we could just hold down Alt, click on the verse and drag it along and then it will drag that section uh, over after the tag. Again, we could do the same with the chorus. There we go, and it's a good way of building up tracks. Likewise, we could delete sections as well. So say after this tag, I just wanted to go straight back into the chorus. Well, we just select that arrangement marker there, press delete. First of all, it will just delete the actual regions. If you press it again, it will then delete the arrangement marker as well. And then finally, uh, if we wanted to change the name of this arrangement marker um, to one of the pre-existing names that we've defined, we just have to hover over the name and a little drop-down menu comes and we can select intro like that. Um, so that's very handy. So yeah, I hope that's provided a good introduction to the arrangement markers. Every two weeks in the course, uh, an assignment is set. So once I've done my assignment, which is essentially a track, I upload it for my tutor to download and he sends me back a DVR which is a direct video response. It's a video produced by your tutor um, that is sent to you personally every couple of weeks while you're, you're studying, giving you immediate feedback on your production. It's something that enables the students to have a one-to-one -one connection with their tutor. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. And I think this steel can sound is brilliant. I mean, that's, that's a real kind of hook of the track, this. Maybe let's just try uh, recording something in. The response that the tutor gives is completely tailored to the student's style of music or the level that they're at as well. So it might be nice to spice up this drum track by adding a delay and you can see I've put one here in the return of the drum rack and uh, if we just apply that to the clap now, you see it has a really nice effect. If you want to check out the whole range of online courses, go to pointblankonline.net. Thank you.